The non-GL counter to JMK Cat is finally here, guys. I can't believe it. Um, right, so you guys might remember my video a few days ago about Ray going crazy with the Datacron, the one that gives offensive buffs. Well, I thought to myself, how can we utilize this and make it even crazier? And then I thought, what about Gen Knight Rev and Bastila and JKL? So I started messing around over the past couple of days, and you would have seen from the beginning of this footage, it works. And it's consistent. I've tried it many many times out of my last three attempts i have two wins so it's, it's around about 60 to 70 percent success rate it can go a little bit dicey and i'll kind of explain that throughout the video so just disclaimer here guys i have very good mods on my characters um it is possible with lower relics and lower mods um nice thing here is this cat wasn't very fast um, and not all commander soakers are going to be your 330, 350 speeds, some of them will be, but if you're faster with Revan, it makes this so much easier because you can stun Cat and you can you, you can completely control her one hit and she will never use it. Now as she goes first, all that happens is when Jolie takes a turn, you revive. That's the only difference here guys. Uh, because remember, J uh, Jedi Knight Revan is gaining a lot of speed. It's 5 speed for each Jedi and 5 speed for each Old Republic. In this lineup here, he is gaining 40 speed. Now remember, JMK lead gives 30 speed to Commander Ahsoka. So if your, J if your Jedi Knight Revan is slightly faster, you're going to go first. And it makes this so much easier. Uh, so, order of play is you're going to mark down on Commander Ahsoka and you're just gonna buff Luke. And once Luke gets a few buffs and a few turns going, he will do crazy damage. Like you would have seen in the footage, he one-shots General Kenobi. Now again, you might not see Anakin in this lineup and you may see Padme instead, but I don't think that really changes this, if I'm honest. In fact, I think Anakin being in the team makes it a little bit harder because he's obviously, there's potential he'll kill someone, which is what was happening to me. Um, but for the most part, guys, trust me, this works a charm. Uh, Commander Ahsoka is honestly no issue. Once you can control her uh, leap, her force leap with the stuns, it's amazing. And mod wise, like I said, they're good mods. We've got Revan modded for speed, Luke's all offense, Bastler is a little bit of potency, Jolie's modded for health and crit avoidance on the arrow. And I thought the crit avoidance did make a big difference. And then GK's actually modded for high protection. Uh, you could also do health. It works a charm. Now, in terms of relics, my Revan's Relic 7. My Luke is Relic 7, my Bastard is Relic 3, Jolie's Relic 5, and GK's Relic 8. A lot of you probably already have a Relic 8 uh, Kenobi, and a Relic 7 Luke. Um, Jolie is mandatory, I would even say higher Relic, because a couple of times where I've lost in the past, it's because Jolie gets uh, targeted down and can't get off the revive. Because if he gets off that revive, the AI love to target Revan, which is awesome. And, and in terms of banners, it's not even terrible banners. Um, and you see here, guys, we won. It's incredible. Yeah, this is down to a Datacron, but being able to take out JMK without Cat and without JMK himself is amazing. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please like and subscribe. My name is Glermit, and I'll see you guys next time.